Well, good afternoon. Um, I'm Horace Enriquez. I'm one of the directors of the Third Year Surgery Clerkship, and but do sit on our uh, residency selection committee. And I was given a series of questions to try to answer your questions. First one is, what electives are best to both prepare students for the specialty and to bolster their residency application? Um, surgery is a quite broad topic, would include ophthalmology, would include critical care, would include general surgery or laparoscopic, those issues. So I don't think there is a best rotation at all. I think it is trying to get a balance of, of rotations that give you a very broad experience is actually more important than the specific rotation. Um, there is a difference in applying to surgery residency whether you're a strong versus average or a weak student. If you're a weak student, it's going to be very difficult to get a, a surgery residency. A strong student is uh, its a competitive game, and I think that's an important piece to, to think about. Um, it is uh, probably more important in a funny way that you get uh, high grades in all the other rotations over surgery. If you are a single uh, if you're going to get honors in surgery and think that you're going to get in with passes and all the other programs, that was actually a more difficult uh, student for us to get into a place into a surgery residency. International rotations have a zero effect if you're interested in global health other than your personal issue. Um, and uh, if you're going to do international rotations, that's at your personal uh, convenience and choice. It will do very little to augment your surgical application. I think an academic scholar year, depending on how productive it is, can be quite valuable. Again, that will be measured in, in publications. Um, what is uh, my advice on timeline if a student cannot decide between two residencies? You will never go wrong taking a uh, preliminary internal medicine or general surgery rotation and those both will give you great flexibility in your ability to choose, uh, uh, get more focus and more um, uh, and build your credentials to apply to a residency of choice. Um, if this question is designed to say that you're interested in orthopedics and didn't get in the first time and then want to uh, uh, reapply, you have to apply from a uh, general surgery rotation. In a highly competitive field, which surgery is, it is you uh, really paying attention to your third year curriculum. It is you um, thinking about putting your uh, best efforts into all your rotations. Again, I'm going to reemphasize that a student that has honors in pediatrics and medicine and psychiatry and uh, OB and a high pass in surgery will have a far better chance of getting a surgical residency of their choice rather than the student who gets honors in surgery and a smattering of high passes and, and passes in the other rotations. The uh, concept of additioning in another hospital doing rotations in surgery is actually quite split data. There are a number of papers uh, publishing, published on this and it's six of one, half dozen of another. Um, if you are absolutely committed to going to a particular hospital, uh, it's certainly worth thinking about. Um, the good news is that if they love you, it's going to help you. If they hate you, you're not a competitor. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to happen that it'll be happening one day and one attending will solve that problem. Um, I think that the concept in surgery is that when you finish your third year clerkship, and you're going to do a fourth year uh, rotations on surgery that we're expecting you to step up. We really are thinking of you as a junior intern. We're expecting you to carry a patient load, be able to make decisions, uh, think about those uh, kind of, you know, make some care plans. Clearly you're a student and we're going to have to co-sign those issues, but we're looking for an independence that is uh, clearly different than a third year. I think uh, graduating from medical school for surgery um, we do not expect you to know how to do surgery. We do expect you to understand uh, basic physiology, uh, anatomy, how to uh, read films. So there, we expect a quite broad knowledge base coming in. Um, we're here to teach you the technical skills and how to integrate those technical skills with surgical decision making. 